Shalom one real quick, super quick. Giving all praise to your help by Shamel Shai by Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. This is only for the elect. The only ones that's going to be delivered are the elect. Not the ones that think they're the elect, but the actual elect of Israel. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video, I See the Mosai Killing a lot of the false prophets out there. So I just got finished watching some of this video. I, need, I don't need to watch the whole thing. I'll come back and watch the rest of it. Uh, put up by uh, GMS South Carolina 8. Uh, ye shall know them by their fruit. And then it says hashtag Chief Ephraim. And you know why he put Chief Ephraim? Because, well, it wasn't just Chief Ephraim. It was uh, others. They got this thing going where they're going to converge at uh, Chicago. And um, with these Palestinians, that's if the Palestinians are even there that week. I don't know if they protest every week, weekend or whatever. Um, but anyway, you had a matter of fact, let me do this. And this is uh, Matathawa. He's, um, you can see, he got his, he's, he's moving out. His, that's against the law right there. Got a full build over here. He got that Sunni Muslim look. He's shaving his beard. He's not let. I mean, his his mustache. Um, he was about. He was. I don't know if he's still officially down with the uh, H O I, but he was down with them. He, I even met the met the brother, and he um, he's he he been as far as I know, he had went out to Africa. He's out there teaching. But he wasn't with HOI. HOI. I don't know if he's still with. I'm not. I'm sorry. HODC. HODC. So he's saying in this video, which I didn't watch him, hear him say it. But uh, you can go to the video or whatever. But uh, um, Manat Zakba said that he said, "Don't criticize what these guys are doing." Well, the scriptures speak about rebuke. If you're going off, it's our duty to rebuke you. All right. So we're saying the move that they made in Chicago, they were young brothers, you know. Um, they did what they did, but uh, that should be it. We said that y'all shouldn't have did, y'all shouldn't have been out there, you know, but y'all did what y'all did as young brothers. But uh, people were supposed to line up and say, you guys were, were off, you you were off, some of y'all could have killed, got killed, some of y'all could have could have got seriously hurt or some of y'all could have killed some of the others and guess what if you kill somebody whether it be on your side or the palestinian side the police are going to get involved and the police are going to round all y'all up and arrest all of y'all and some of y'all or all of y'all going to be charged with murder second degree um you know mass whatever manslaughter, second degree murder, not so much first degree, but this could be first degree if y'all go out on the weekend. So we don't know what's going to happen. But we said that it was that it was wrong. They shouldn't have gone out there. Y'all y'all were not being spiritual. You know, and you cursing out, because y'all cursing. Now, wh whether, the, whether the Palestinians jump y'all or not, y'all caused that to happen by focusing your attention on them, talking about Allah is not God and whatever they said so that's so whether they threw the first bottle okay and y'all should have just been teaching this teaching you did to teach israel ezekiel chapter three go back i always go back to that eat this roll and go out and teach each israel where does it say eat this roll and go out and teach the palestinians that Allah ain't right we're not concerned with them it was a pontius pilot uh, talked to the Lord and he answered. There was a point where the Lord didn't even answer him, man. Because he wasn't dealing with him. Look, I'm not dealing with you. So, you got this big campaign and I'm surprised that Zabak, Zabak would say, you guys are young lions and you did the right thing. Right after, we were the first to rebuke these guys. So you got these guys countering what we're saying. The scriptures clearly speak about this is not a carnal war, this is a spiritual war. You got you got videos up 
of other Israelite groups that are not like New Testament, you know, they're Old Testament only. Got this one video where they talk, they, they had a panel discussion on YouTube and they're talking about how the, the black Hebrew Israelites are taking the side of the small hats, which they're not. But the perception is, I did a video called Perception and Rea Perception Reality, right? What people are seeing is there's an old saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So if, if, it, if it went back to uh, Netanyahu, they're saying good, good for the black Hebrew Israelites. They're fighting on our side. That's what these jakes in this video are saying because the perception is you fighting against the Palestinians is like you're taking the side of the jakes. Which you know there's a war. There's a, uh, what is it, uh, a Josiah got involved in, um, he got involved in a war. Matter of fact, that's a perfect scripture. He got in, in, involved, let me see if I can find it. Uh, get, bear me for a minute. Okay, let's see if it comes up. Let's see what comes up. No, it's Josiah, I believe. I believe it's Josiah. Joe. Okay, let me... Let's see what comes up. Bear with me for a minute. I want to go right to the point here. Just bear with me for a minute, please. I might have to do it another way. Please bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I'm getting, I'm getting, wa I'm getting warmer. I think I found it uh, in the days the uh, king of uh, Egypt went up against the king. Okay, I found it. I found it. Forgive me for not finding it quick enough. I'm not perfect. Second Kings 23, verse 29. It says, in his days, uh, Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, went up against the king of Assyria. So these were two nations warring against each other, right? Right now you got so-called Israelis, Israeli government going really going against the Palestinians because the Hamas organization is a Palestinian organization. The people that are getting killed are, are for the most part Palestinian citizens. That's why you got protests all over the place. So it says uh 
It says the king, the, the, the king of Egypt went up against the king of Assyria uh, to the river Euphrates and king. So the river Euphrates is not that far from Jerusalem, right? And king Josiah went against him. Went against who? The king of Egypt. And he slew him at, at Megiddo when he had seen him. And his servant carried him. I wanted to get more meat of it. Uh, let me open this up. Bear me for a minute, please, please, please. I just want to ch try to pinpoint. I want to go right to the point. But it's but this is the chapter. Passover it reinstituted. King Josiah, where in the Passover was holding, like he had a he had a ter terrific. He was known for his Passovers. Uh, put away mighty performer. King before him, turn heart, law, notwithstanding, turn from his fierceness. I will remove Judah, cast off his cities. Jehoahaz succeeds him. Now the, now the rest of the acts of Josiah um, and all he, he did, the chronicles, uh, in his day, Pharaoh. Pharaoh Nekar, king of Egypt, went up against the king of Assyria to uh, river Euphrates, and uh, King Josiah went against him, the king, and he was, and he slew him at Megiddo when he had bit, when he had seen him, and his servant carried him in a chariot dead from uh, Megiddo, and brought him to Jerusalem. So he interfered with that war that the Most High put together. I'm not going to go all into the whole story. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let me let me go to uh, because he wasn't supposed to involve himself in that war that the Most High put the spirit on the King of Egypt. To come against the king of uh, Assyria. Assyria, right? Let me let me let me go to. Uh, and because he because the Most High deals with nations too, the Most High, the Russians going into Ukraine and Israel is fighting against Gaza. That's part of prophecy. That's that build up of war. This is the most I put the spirit on these guys to do what they do. Okay, let's see what it says right here. Made him king, fall instead of Israel, because he died, because he interfered with that war between two nations. Jehoiada as, uh, as has was twenty and three years old when he began to reign, and he and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. It said that he disguised himself. It says the king of Egypt put him, put him down at Jerusalem and condemned the land a hundred talents of silver. And the king of Egypt made Eliakim his uh, brother king over Judah. I'm trying to get the part where he put a mask. He, he, he disguised himself. Give me a second. Give me a second here.
King Josiah disguised himself to go against the king of Egypt. Okay, I think I found it. I think I found it. That's Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 35. I'm in 36. Second Chronicles 36 talks about his death and his son took over. But what I wanted was Second Chronicles 35 verse 20. Second Chronicles 35 verse 20. See, the most I put the spirit on, <clears throat> you know, this war to take place. Okay, it's right here. Found it. <clears throat> See, now it takes you back to uh, 2 Kings 23. <clears throat> but it doesn't go into details. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jo Josiah dies in battle. It says, after all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, uh, Necor, king of Egypt, uh, uh, came up to fight against uh, Carchemis by Euphrates, by the Euphrates. That was the king of um, Assyria. So the Most High put the spirit on the king of Egypt to bring his armies against the king of Assyria. So Josiah got in the middle of it, and it wasn't the plans of the Most High for him to get in. The Most High said, look, I put the Spirit on these guys to do what they got to do. Same way he put the Spirit on the, the, the people, the government of Israel, to come against Gaza. Whatever the backstory is, okay, they're at war. The day after this, October 7th, Israel declared war on Hamas, but really... It rep rep Hamas is a Palestinian, so they really declare war on on uh, the Palestinians because Palestinians are going to get killed in this. That are that are stand, um, you know, innocent bystanders or whatever. But guess what? It's the baby's going to die, pregnant women going to die. But that's how the Most High rolls. That's how the Most High gets down. You know. So this is the war between them two. So when y'all getting involved in it, really, really, you're not getting involved in that that skirmish. But people are perceiving it as you getting involved in it, that you're taking it. Because they're saying in that, in that, if I can find a video, I'll put it up. They said, what's the hell wrong with these niggas fighting for the, Is the Israelis? Which they're not. But that's the perception. Uh, it says, N uh, Nico, king of Egypt, came up to fight against uh, Kar Shemesh by Euphrates. And Josiah, which is the king, went out against him. And I even know who Josiah is today. He fell out the truth. He knows he's an Israelite, but he fell out the truth. He don't speak no more. But he sent ambassadors to him saying, what have I, this is, this is the, the king of Egypt. He sent ambassadors to King Josiah saying, what have I to do with thee, thou king of Judah? Look, what, what, why are you getting involved in this? This is a, the spirit got on me to get these Assyrians, man. It says, I come not against thee this day. I'm not fighting against you. Don't get involved. But against the house wherewith I, I have war. Listen at this. Listen at this. I told you the Most High deals with other nations too. For God, the Most High, commanded me, commanded who? The king of Egypt to make haste, forbear thee from meddling with the Most High. This is the, mo the Most High came to me and told me to come against the king of Assyria who was with me that he destroyed thee not. Nevertheless, Josiah, he got carnal. He got, now the, now the, now the man said, 
The man said, look, the Most High came to me in the spirit, whether he come to him in a dream or whatever, he came to, okay, is that possible? Oh, the Most High can't come to another nation. What is our Psalms 147, 19 and 20 says? Well, wait a minute. Did not the Most High deal with um, Osiris and Daniel 10? Did not the Most High deal with Nebuchadnezzar? When you go to uh, Daniel 2 and Daniel 7, did not the Most High deal with Balaam and show them the end, the destruction? So what the hell you mean the Most High can't? Th these are spiritual moves that are being made. The, 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 the declaration of war by uh, the Israeli government against the Palestinians, not Hamas, but against the Palestinians, and, th and, it's gonna, and they're talking about Iran. Well, Iran is a part of it. Uh, the uh, Hezbollah, they're, they're backed by Iran. So really the war is going to open up to the Iranians. That's, that's called a proxy war. This is all spiritual. So somebody asks us, well, what side do you take to all? I say I take the side of the most side because it's all prophecy. Man's goings of the most high. So how can a man then un understand his own, own way? So you guys that are egging this thing on, you're coming in the con a carnal mindset. Chief even said, bring bottles of water, bring Pepsi, bring Coke, bring ginger ale. They don't drink that shit. So that so they when they when he's saying what he's saying is bring shit to throw at them. Cause we we looking for a physical fight. Which the most high is not dealing with the carnal man. The prophet is not the con prophets are not carnal. They look at everything in a spiritual light, in a prophetic light. It says, um, this is the king of Egypt talking. I come not against the, this day, but against the house wherewith I have war. For God, Yahweh, commanded me, the king of Egypt, to make haste. Hurry up and go, you know, against Assyria. Forbear thee from meddling. Please don't get involved in this. Because you're getting involved with the Most High. You're not fighting against me. You're fighting against the Most High. Who is with me. Can the Most High be with a, a man of another nation? You got damn right. He put the spirit on Cyrus to make him finance the, the rebuilding of the temple. Who is with me. That he destroy thee not. Look, the Most High is telling me to do this. And if you get involved, the Most High can kill you too. He can get you out the way. He can knock you out the box. Uh, it says, uh, nevertheless, Josiah would not turn his face from him. He said, man, the Most High ain't coming to this. First of all, you a fucking Hamite, man. How the Most High going? He got carnal. But uh, but disguised himself that he might fight with him. He said, I'm going to go and fight in this war, but I'm going I'm to cover myself. And hearken not unto the words of Nikor from the, mouth, from the mouth of the Most High. So when we said that them brothers went off, they should have never been there. And that's, that being said, they shouldn't come back. So now they got these other camps. Nah, man, they did the right thing. These guys are young lions. We coming out there. We going to have a unity camp. Then they mention certain names. Mention IUIC. They mention uh, ISUPK. They didn't mention GMS because they already know. I ain't mentioning GMS. GMS. Them niggas, man. Them niggas are contrary to us. But he knew that IUIC. IUIC ain't coming over there with the Purple Army. The ISUPK ain't coming over there because, first of all, they're not, they don't, ISUPK do, do not do, the, they don't do a unity camp. They don't get with other camps. Their thing is you're supposed to come up under them. IUIC is doing this. If you're not part of IUIC, we don't, we don't acknowledge you at all. That's why, that's why Bishop Nate ain't throwing no money at us. He called us bumps. Well, the law says if you find your, your brother in decay, restore that man. So anytime you call us a bum, you're breaking the law. So, so this is the king of Egypt warning this man. And, and what happened? King Josiah, Josiah got simple his, because of his stupidity and his pride. Scripture said pride cometh before a fall, right? 
he let he let his pride get the best of him, right? It says uh it says the the, the, the king the, the king of Egypt, Nikor, from the mouth of God and came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. And the archers remember he disguised himself. And the archers shot at King Josiah, and the king said to his servants, Have me away, for I am sore wounded. Why was you sore wounded? Because the most high, the most high, um, you know, the most high guided that 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 arrow into a vital area of your body so you can die. So you you bled out. His servants therefore took him out of that chariot and put him in the second chariot that was an ambulance back then that he had uh, uh, and they brought him to Jerusalem and he died he bled out and was buried in one of the sepulchers of his father and all Judah and Jer all Judah and Jerusalem and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah and jo and Jeremiah lamented for Josiah and all the singing men, because they loved Josiah, but Josiah was, he, he was known for ma making a <laughs> fantastic, super fantastical Passover, like a, a guy that we know, that he's dead in the spirit. I mean, he knows he's an Israelite, but he ain't speaking and teaching and prophesying, so he was never a prophet. King Josiah was not a prophet. It says, And the singing women spake of Josiah in their lamentations to his day, to this day and made them an ordinance in Israel and behold they are written in the lamentations now the rest of the acts of Josiah and his uh, goodness according to that which was written in the law of Yahweh and his deeds first and last behold they are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah so even though he was known for the fantastical Passovers, even though he was a king of of uh, Judah, he didn't he didn't his, he he let pride get the best of him, and he said, "Look, I'm gonna get involved in this war." And he knew he was doing wrong. He knew that the Most High spake to the king of Egypt because he why would he have disguised himself? Because he said, I'm going to get in this war, but I'm not, I'm not, they, don't, they don't know who I am. So he knew he was, he was wicked. He knew he was going against the commandments of the Most High. He could have asked one of the prophets, is this true? What the king of Egypt said that God is dealing with? Is it possible that the Most High deals with another nation? The prophets would have told him, of course. Yes, the, Mo the Most High is dealing with the king of Egypt right now. He put him on a mission to come against the king of Assyria. And you were told in a diplomatic manner that, look, don't involve yourself in this because the Most High came to me and said, get at the king of Assyria, king, get at the Assyrians. So, like I said, this is going to be the third time I say it. King, king uh, Josiah said, uh, Look, I'm getting involved in this, but I'm going to disguise myself so they don't know it's him. Hey, I'm, I'm going to win this thing. I'm going to stop this thing. Well, he had no business to do, and he got killed on the spot. So what you guys are doing out there is uh, you're being foolhardy, you know, being out there, getting physical. Because if we was out there, we would have said, we would have either spoke or we would have just packed up and gone someplace else. Same thing happened with... Uh, IUIC and IUPK. They were all right on the same corner. They had they were both wrong. They were both wrong. Cuz because uh you know, a 1 Corinthians chapter 6 6 Paul said why not take low merely paraphrasing why not be defrauded. In other words, take the low road. Oh, no, okay. Since we were here, you came here, you claim you were here before us. No big deal. Even though we're here before you, we're going to pack up anyway. And then that melee happened. So now this, now this thing is getting carnal, man. And the Most High is, the Most High right now, he's, um, he's exposing these false prophets. Because a lot of these guys are not prophets, man. Like I said, if you're a prophet and we're in the last time, we're in the time of the prophets, they ain't supposed to be di doing no disappearing act, man. 
You don't you don't show up. Prophets don't show, show up when shit shit is popping off. Prophets show up long before shit pops off. Like Peter Popoff, I had to say that. That's an actual devil, that's a preacher, he heals people. His name is Peter Popoff. So you <laughs> you guys are popping off like Peter Popoff, and you may get popped. It was it's a foolhardy and stupid act to go out there. And it's and you are dead wrong when you egg these guys on to do it. You notice, like I said, I'm gonna mention IUIC and IUCBK. You notice they ain't said they should have cut it. The IUIC said, look, what they did was wrong. IUCBK said, oh, um, Captain Cesare, General Yohanna, whatever, what they did was wrong. They shouldn't have did that. I wouldn't have did that shit. So now you got other guys. Well, you got Chief Ephraim, you got uh, Zabak, now you got Mathathawa. You, you, they're saying, nah, man, we're going to get revenge. Those are our brothers. Well, the scriptures say, who is my who is my brother, who is my who is my brother, who is my sister, who is my mother, them that do the will of the Father. So you can be an Israelite all you want. You ain't my brother if you you ain't my brother if you if you ain't out there on the highways and the byways. If you if you taking breaks, if you're doing disappearing act for a year, two years, five years, ten years, you ain't my brother. You ain't a prophet, man. This is the time of the prophets. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. I didn't want to make this long, but it's a little long. But it's needed. 